on the road all the way for Shrewsbury in the Cup this year. 5-1 winners at Stratford, 2-1 winners at Carlisle. How about winning at Anfield? The players take a knee on the referee's first whistle. Away we go at Anfield then on round three Sunday. Will it be business as usual for the generally impressive Liverpool? Or can Shrewsbury produce the shock? We've seen some already, of course. Cambridge won at Newcastle yesterday. Huddersfield won away at Premier League. Burnley and Kidderminster. Maybe the biggest upset of all. Long league knocking out Reading. But this would top the lot, I think, Evan. I'd have to agree with you, and this uh, great competition is nothing without these uh, huge upsets that we get every single year, without question. And the Shrewsbury players and fans, of course, will be dreaming that this could be their day. Elisha well, Dixon Bonner here on the ball. He played two years ago against Shrewsbury. He'll be in midfield next to Fabinho, that'll be good for him. And Dyke's been a little in and out of the side. Of the Covid casualties of late. This is Tyler Morton on the ball. He's a youngster who's been getting a lot of game time in these last few weeks. Not just a couple of minutes here and there as a sub. He started Champions League games. He started Premier League matches and Carabao Cup matches. Kate Gordon started one of them. Thanks to they brought him from Derby this time last year. A yeah, sound of respect as well that Jurgen Klopp has gone with uh, pretty much a strong back line. A little bit careful with uh, the forwards at the moment with uh, Mane and Salah away on Africa Cup of Nations duty in Cameroon. And afford to be risking the likes of uh, Firmino and Minamino. Too early in the, in the game, you'd imagine. It's important league matches, of course, for them to come. Even Kelleher there, very much above Adrian, a more experienced keeper in the pecking order. It's his fifth appearance of the season across competitions. Even Kelleher, member unprecedented stuff round three no replays so it's extra time and penalties if needed Connor Bradley here he's had a little bit of game time under Klopp galloping right back very much in the mold of this man here Andy Robertson on the other side yeah, missed a couple of games suspension for his red card against the Tottenham in the league a few weeks ago Yes, that, in a sense, has helped Klopp out here because Robertson probably needs a bit of game time, oddly. Yeah, three-game ban for that sending off, and a costly one it was, too, against probably, Spurs. Yeah, he probably needed a rest as well, to be honest, Andrew Robertson. He's been extremely durable, hasn't he, since he signed from Hull City. Yeah, very regular, really. Simkas has shown that he's a capable deputy in the last uh, couple of months. But nice to have the number one left-back back. back. First corner of the game goes to Liverpool. George Nurse with the cover defending. Regular at the back, he's played in all but one for the Shrews this term. And he can expect, you would think, a busy day, but we shall see. Bradley back to Jones. Good composure from Jones, who gets it back from Voltman. Bradley with the cross. Don't tend to get giant killed very often, Liverpool. Round three has been good. Won nine of the last ten, the odd one out being Wolves three years ago this month. Bradley again, high and wide already, the youngster. Full Northern Ireland international already, Connor Bradley. One of a few in this squad who've got their own European campaign going. Max Voltman and Tyler Morton, Kate Gordon have all been involved as well as Liverpool going in the UEFA Youth League. Van Dyke stepping up, Liverpool with all the ball in these opening exchanges and Shrewsbury. Just trying to dig in for now. Will this be the pattern for all of it? We shall see. Tyler Morton trying an ambitious pass. Yeah, they will have to be patient, the young players in particular. Jürgen Klopp's outfit today will be looking to impress early on. Yeah, key figures in the squad experience-wise, Van Dijk, Robertson, and Fabinho in the middle of the park. Just be exercising some caution with how they keep passing the football.
Sloppy touch, and the Shrewsbury fans roar. Josh Vella on the ball here. First venture into Liverpool territory, really. You'd imagine that for larger uh, amounts of the game that Shrewsbury actually will be playing with a five at the back, won't they? will have a better and uh, Bennett coming back to help out defensively. So they do get a little bit of possession. They're bound to in you know, some, some uh, situation. Liverpool get a little bit sloppy with the ball or maybe we've got a, a goal up or two and just sit back and trying to absorb a little bit of pressure, try and hit on a counter. Then they'll get the chance to maybe pass the football across that central line. And they will then become a five if they can be patient enough themselves. Tough to tell who got the last touch there. It's Robertson on the charge. Typical Andy Robertson gallop. Yeah, Storm run. How do you look like Robertson actually was the last man to touch him? Never easy for the officials. Scott will take the corner from the other side. Just above Van Dyke, Fabinho couldn't quite control it. Canate, another big defender, was up there. Arguably an important game for him as well, Ibrahima Canate. Some signing from Leipzig, who's necessarily struggled but not found it easy. Joel Matip has generally been first choice back there with Van Dyke, but Canate still learning the Liverpool way. way of quick press just a little too over the top there with uh, Ogbetta foul former Man City youngster Nathaniel Ogbetta here's a shirt ball pulling on that about it free kick Steve Cotter won't be uh, overall by the occasion himself and that will certainly bring some calm to his players you'd imagine I would have, I'm sure it has done you know, in the build-up to this game in the last few days Tons of experience with the likes of Stoke and Burnley, Pompey, Nottingham Forest. Yeah, he's been to all these big grounds, hasn't he? So it's, the, the way you go about your own personal business, I think, can certainly be transferred to the players and help them have a little bit more belief. He's a better. That might have been a shot if Dixon Bonner was in the way. All the way home to Maroshi, who was a long way off his line, a few who's and ours. Nice touch. And very nearly a nice ball for Udo, too. Yeah, this high line that Liverpool play defensively is uh, quite worrying. I mean, they may not get punished there uh, on Shrewsbury today, but over the last couple of weeks and months, even, they've looked more and more vulnerable. The teams with their uh, brave midfields with lots of energy and legs in the middle of the park will get beyond Liverpool midfield. It has, has been looking a little bit leggy, even with all their first team players available get beyond the back line so easily so unless you're able to track those runners from the middle of the park I think it's sensible against anybody really just to be dropping off another 10 or so yards absolutely but they don't do it even when they're not at full strength that's why the goals have been going in in fact they've not kept a clean sheet in any of their last five matches across the competitions Leahy caught by Max Voltman there Stamp will be painful. It's been a good signing, Luke Leahy. He's played in all but one of their League One games this term. He scored a few goals, including in round one of this competition. Bristol Rovers last season. He scored for them there too. Nice to see Steve Cottrell actually back on the touchline. He's had his COVID issues as well himself, wasn't he? He was quite quite poorly for a while. There's quite a few matches. Liverpool free kick. Well, they brought him in just over a year ago. Obviously, the plan to see if he can get them up and into the championship. He has won League Two before with Notts County. He's won League One as well with Bristol City. So he's a guy who knows how to get out of the lower leagues. Actually, closer to the bottom than the top in League One. But as I mentioned, an upturn in form lately. Clean sheets in this full game unbeaten run as well, three times over with three wins in there. So, yes, this is a different level of test, but 
can only be a good thing and confidence to bring into a tie of this size. Van Dijk with that trademark long ball, and what a good ball it was. Connor Bradley here. He's done well. Voltman. Did well to bring it down, actually, Voltman, but he took it away from Curtis Jones, and if there was a lack of communication between the two young players. A pair of them hassling there. That's what you can get. You often wonder with these sorts of games, when you get a, a huge club who've made a ton of changes, if the time to strike them is actually, arguably, happened early in the game before they, you know, quite sorted out their partnerships and their communication and that sort of thing, because presumably players of a, a higher level will kind of learn on the job during the game. Maybe Shrewsbury's time is while Liverpool are still finding their feet. It's not as if this 11 plays together ever. No, it's, you know, you, you'd be absolutely right. You know, the, the time when you know, these players will be more scrappy, if you like, and less cohesive will be in the opening 20, 25 minutes. You have to get the football first, and of course, they've not really been able to see that, have they? Josh Feller had one little run down the right flank. That's been it so far. One ball from Canate arrives with Boltman via a defensive header. Here's Curtis Jones again. That's Voltman. Tyler Morton with the shot. Yeah, yeah, there's Liverpool Pennington. account today. Yeah, Matthew Pennington came out with a very good block. Curtis Jones there. Settled a round three tie here, and famously so, with an absolute beauty of a goal against Everton. Not so long ago. Roger van Dijk is another who scored a 1 0 winner here in the FA Cup on round three day against Everton. Both long after Pennington had left the other side of Merseyside. In comes the free kick. Canate gets there and got too much on it. Yeah, lots of bodies, not easy to get a clean header. He does get above Pennington pretty easily in the end. And in front. It didn't seem to be above him. Not it down, not up. There you go. Everyone's still getting used to seeing Jurgen Klopp without the specs. I'd just be pleased to be back on the touchline. There has been a, a criticism, and there haven't been many, in fairness, since he took over. Been that they haven't done very well in this competition. One or two grumbles. First yellow card of the game is out for that tug there. It's uh, Pennington on Curtis Jones. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, such a long way from goal as well. So these are really cheap yellow cards to pick up. The ball is in the air. Curtis Jones is going to do something. Except for really to control it and run away from it, recovering set of Shrewsbury players. Odd choice from an experienced player who's got to behave himself now. It's another good looking free kick. He banks Landell with the header clear. Former Wolves youngster. Not so far from Shrewsbury. As you see a fair few have been the Wolverhampton Wanderers in and amongst this uh, Shrewsbury club over the years, including now. Dixon Bonner here for Liverpool. Morton. Trying to move around yellow and blue wall. It's a minimum five at the back, really, isn't it? And then the, defen uh, the defensively minded midfield is dropping in too. Side to side until a gap appears. Connor Bradley. Gordon. Confident player. Oh, that's a big shout. No, I think he went down easily. VAR if needed. Nice Andre first. Mariner will be looking at things today. Maybe he'll be looking at that, but yeah, it looks on the soft side, didn't it? Yeah, it's great to see youngsters on either side. Here's the challenge again. I think that's an accidental coming together of legs. That would have been a generous one. As if anything, that's Kate Gordon putting his foot in between the legs of George Nurse. 
and uh, not too surprising that possession statistic effort. Yeah, about what we expected and likely to see for pretty much the whole game. Fabinho wriggling away from the retreating Ryan Bowman. We'll just be thinking, we're not going to have a lot of the ball, just give me one chance. And the Anfield Road end or the cop end. Lots of goals, a couple of fine years for Exeter, more than 30 in fact, before joining Shrewsbury in the summer. Two goals at Stratford in round one of the Cup this year and another against his former club, Carlisle, in round two that got them here. Slightly different level here. Van Dyke with Bowman bearing down on him, going safety first. I don't think Van Dyke was uh, too happy with Andrew Robertson there, felt he should have headed the ball clays. He's not a central defender who likes to get drawn out into those wide areas. He very much likes to stay in that central role. Another new player for Shrewsbury this season, Elliot Bennett here. Premier League experience with Norwich and a regular at Championship level two, so that'll be really good for them in League One. Played with Brighton and Blackburn. The test for these young kids playing for Liverpool today. I mean, they may be more t more talented on paper, if you like. They have to prove it, of course, in the next three or four years to see if they can make the, the grade at this football club. But they are playing against men, aren't they, on the Shrewsbury side? And no matter how good you are, when you all of a sudden playing against a team who've got a lot of uh, football league appearances between them, that's a big step up in itself to earn the right physically to be able to compete with them. Then you hope your greater skills perhaps will come to the fore and make a difference against. Them. League one side. And Gordon in particular won't be suffering from any butterflies. Very confident young player. Still a boy, not even a man yet. But he will back himself. He will try the flicks and tricks. Again, Canate. Liverpool could do with a few scares defensively. Actually, that will spark the plays into life. It will engage the crowd. So that's a non-contest there. Max Voltman wants to be trying to win headers against Anthony Banks Landell, but it's not going to happen. Connor Bradley on the right side of defence, but more, more like a wing back, I suppose, with the amount of ball Liverpool are going to have. He's going to see plenty of the ball on the right. Kelleher may not see much of it at all today. End up having to be the hero as he was at the end. He's defending now against Leicester in that extraordinary League Cup tie not so long ago. Liverpool were twice two down, ended up rescuing a 3 3 draw in the sixth minute of stoppage time before winning the shootout thanks to a couple of saves from him. Shrewsbury have won it back here. David Davis keeps it moving. Nurse Pennington. There's promise here, Udo, for a minute thought he was in, the flag is up, but Kelleher didn't know that when he came out. Yeah, he was clearly offside. But there's that high line again, Effort, and if they can be accurate with those passes, there is genuine promise for them there. At the other end, Cade Gordon goes close, that was on target and onside. First save of the game for Marco Maroshi, and it was an important one. Yeah, good one. Lovely ball from Fabina. 
first time that Gordon's had the opportunity one-on-one. -on -one. Always looking to come inside. They've just been sneaking in that near post. Yeah, that's a good save for Maroshi. Slovak keeper in his first season with Rusby, and he's played every minute of their 25 league matches. Another Liverpool corner. Jones delivers. It's too high for Konate. Those are the moments. I know it was offside, but that nearly moment for Udo there. Those are the ones that Kotra will have been planning and, and playing for. I'm sure he'll have said, we'll have... We'll have three or four moments in the game where just one composed pass and a well-timed run. You'll have known Liverpool always play this high line. Don't have to have tons of the ball. You make use of it on those occasions when you do. No, I mentioned the experience of uh, Ryan Bowman Come from that 30 years of age. And he would have seen a lot of uh, teams' defensive sides line up against him and other strike partners. Steve Cottrell, I'm sure, would have got the word out. And if you can just get close to Van Dijk and to Konate and pin them if you like, put your back in and, and the ball is an, an educated pass over the top and somebody bursting from the middle of the park, Josh Vella, David Davis, anybody, and there's a chance to get behind the Liverpool centre-halves because the full-backs, whoever's playing for Liverpool, tend to go walk about, don't they? So influential in the way that Liverpool play. There's bound to be gaps. Well, being effective through the middle of the park, actually, Ben, is twofold. It's not only can you get uh, beyond midfielders, having the ability to get back and recover. There's Curtis Jones bursting forward. Robertson, Jones again. Shoot, said the fans. That's where he scored against Everton from it. Famous round three winner. Another aerial ball in towards Voltman. It's not what he wants. There's a, a nibble on the back. Curtis Jones, Josh Vella with the foul this time. Yeah, just shifted the ball well, didn't he, Curtis Jones? A couple of free kicks, haven't they, in decent areas so far, Liverpool? At the moment, not been able to take advantage. If they start to pick up a couple of yellow cards through, it's been all of a sudden the players won't be able to get so close with those challenges. Just a little bit more room for the likes of Jones, one of the creators in the team today, to take advantage. He and Robertson over this free kick. And a lot of these set plays. Some big men up. Robertson delivers towards Van Dijk. They feel like they'll probably get one right soon enough. Yeah, Banks Landell just close enough to make it difficult for the Dutchman. Hand was up. That's risky. Sort of raising it when he knows he's beaten and he can't head the ball. But, you know, and that gets a better con connection on that and he's heading towards goal. That's a penalty. They'll have come here, Shrewsbury. Knowing in all likelihood they will need to find a way to score. Not going to do it nil-nil, really. Liverpool don't do nil-nils. They score so many goals. 30 games in all competitions this season. And they've scored two or more in all but four of them. Plenty of threes, few fours. It's Everton against Arsenal. Five against Watford and Porto and, famously, Man United. They don't do goalless draws, but we've had 24 minutes of that here. Seven-time winners, Liverpool, but not for a very long time. I've seen them drop down that list. Chelsea have gone above them. Chelsea and Tottenham on eight, and Man United above them, and Arsenal way out in front.
It's never really been Liverpool's competition over the last 50 or so years. A better hit. That's a really dangerous ball. Cannot ask any more of your wing back than that. He's cut that back beautifully, and he'd be expected someone to get on the end of it, but they weren't there. That's one of those scares Ethan was just talking about that might spark it into life a bit. Here is Ogbetta. Gordon. Terrible ball, really, for Dixon Bonner. Didn't give him a chance there. Bradley goes long. Yeah, this competition is nothing without tension. And, and his nerves on the pitch and in the stands. It's a much better occasion. David Davis. Followed by Pennington. Bennett. Followed out there by Van Dijk. Great switch of play to find out better again. And he's got his cross in again! Shrewsbury lead at Anfield! The shock is on! Udo, the unlikely hero. But not unlikely at all, Ben, after that superb cross from Daniel looked better a few minutes ago. Just copy and paste, really. What about this for a delivery? Don't know where the Liverpool defence is. Far too easily beaten at the near post is Ibrahim Akonati. He's got to get himself another three or four yards close to that six yard box. That's too easy in a cross. It's a good cross anyway, but it can be cut out pretty comfortably if that starting position is much better. It's a great run, though, and a superb finish. What a side foot. The air controlled. He just measures himself in the air, balances, and once he gets a clean connection, Keller has got no chance. Well, how about that? Right in front of the Shrewsbury fans, too. Daniel Udo, their top scorer. Well, now there's jeopardy, now there's tension, and now there's the potential for a serious story. They came here hoping, not expecting. But Shrewsbury fans, that is the scoreline. 1-0 up. And the best thing that could have happened to the game, for everybody concerned, the Shrewsbury players and fans, of course, Liverpool fans, and more importantly, I think, for the Liverpool players. If this doesn't wake them up, nothing will. Economy. He said they'd have one or two moments. Their first attempt is in the back of Kelleher's net. Now then. Dixon Bonner's over hit that. What you get here with these youngsters that Klopp has picked is because they don't have the experience, they might not be quite so composed and calm because they might be that, that little bit more desperate. Therefore, passes like that go astray. Yeah, Decisions bit, aren't made yeah, well. A little bit more rushed. Nothing rushed about Udo's finish. Superbly timed run. Oh, talking about Canate coming to the near post. Van Dijk really should have been screaming for him to get there. Then he can fill that gap that would obviously be behind his uh, central defensive partner. Well, Better's in again here. He might get even better for Shrewsbury. Twice he's got forward, and twice he's caused problems. And Leahy has now won them a corner. And now they'll feel we deserve to be here, and we are holding our own, and then some. Any moment they can take to get a breath and eat up some time. They'll be gladly received. Elliot Bennett in no rush to take the corner. Clever routine. 
Bennett was he clipped? Flag was up anyway. No, that was nice close. Work. Nice. Yeah, very close. It's good to see that in set pieces. Something different. That didn't quite work. That's a nice routine, man. The training ground work ahead of a, a game against a side that Steve Cotter will have known, albeit rather reshuffled. Maybe not fully switched on. Nice manoeuvre. The whiff of danger about it. There's an out of play. Liverpool, who generally always score, absolutely must score now. It's a great cross field pass as well, wasn't it, from Ethan Banks Landell? A couple of the Liverpool youngsters have tried that switch from right to left. Being way off the mark, really. He absolutely nailed it. Switch. And Alberto took no time at all, did he? Oops. Shifted the ball. Just as he did a couple of minutes earlier and got the cross in, not waiting for the Liverpool defence to get set. He's got a good tackle in there as well. Better on Cade Gordon. Liverpool win it back fairly. In the eyes of the referee, here's Fabinho. He's going to be really important in there. In terms of that front six, the most experienced player. Morton. Voltman dropping in. Jones going for glory and finding the fans instead. Well, we know he can do it. So you're never too critical when he comes inside like that, decides to shoot. Well, they beat Everton as a League Two club in this round. 2003, not all that long ago. And have come here thinking, oh, what if? And the what if for now is happening. It's a long time, largely without the ball, an hour at Anfield. But it is different when there aren't Messi, Salah, Mane, Firmino, Jota around. Yes, at the moment they're certainly missing that now. Nice in the final third. Really too. Not only uh, make the runs, they have the movement, but they're composed enough and experienced enough to be able to deliver. Tons of the ball, all very neat and tidy, but it's all at arm's length. Maroshi has made one half decent save from Cade Gordon. But that's all he's had to do. That and defend against some set pieces. Cutting edge missing for Liverpool here so far. and Bonner to Bradley oh well done to get that ball in oh that's a fabulous equaliser from Kay Gordon and Liverpool weren't behind for very long Kay Gordon's first senior goal great moment for him Udo's opener cancelled out it's 1-1 yeah that's a lovely take thought he missed his opportunity when he controlled the ball was able to turn I thought the Shrewsbury defence was going to block him out yeah, it's a great it's a great comeback as well isn't it super pass nothing wrong with that finish at all yeah, Connor Bradley nice and composed could have slashed that ball across the face of the goal yeah, Josh Feller just came a little bit too anxious to try and steal the ball in front of Cade Gordon kept his composure the side foot it was firm enough close to the goalkeeper but Rashi could do nothing about it Confirmation that that Shrewsbury opener was the best thing for this cup tie. He did take it well. Composure not a problem for the youngster. Special moment 
that's for sure. Leahy, well, that's dangerous. You are joking. No flags up, it's not going to count. That would have been extraordinary. <laughs> Ryan Bowman getting a bit of finishing practice. And he finished it well, but the flag is up. Well, I'm hoping that the Liverpool players had actually seen the flag. Oh, that's tight, you know, that's very tight. They stopped playing, but I think the referee probably... He's probably seen, has he seen anything from his official? Yeah, he's flagged just as the ball is about to be crossed. It's borderline, however, that's very, very tight. And confirmed. But yes, it wasn't Bowman in the middle. No, not it, at all. It was Leahy who only just, as Evans said, fractionally ventured off. And Van Dyke was beaten by yet another cross of quality. I think the timing of the referee's whistle has certainly helped the Liverpool defence. It would have been scrutinised just that little bit more, I think, that offside if the whistle had not been blown until it was in mid flight. Here's the avenue. Get the ball wide if you can and cross it quickly. Which has worked for um, many, many years, hasn't it? Yes, it's not a genius theory or a complex one. Sometimes simple is best, and it is definitely something that works at any level. Richard Dixon Bonnet to Robertson and Curtis Jones. They had a moment or two. It was about six minutes, I think, to enjoy the implausible lead. But I'm sure those Shrewsbury fans will, will feel that this Liverpool defence can be got at. That'd be further joy for them, and it's their own defence. It's under pressure here. Fabinho puts Liverpool on the front foot. Jones. Boltman, tight angle, corner. Tight angles never affected Kenny Douglas. The King, a winner as player and coach. And indeed player coach yeah. here comes the corner 1986 that was the double slightly dicey header home there from Bowman but just had enough on it Jones assessing options it's Robertson that he finds. Great ball. Oh, Curtis Jones missed his moment. Bradley. And he followed his pass, essentially, and made that run into the box there. Everything about it was right, Effin. It's all, Maybe he just took his eye off the ball. Because it seemed to just sort of flick his hair. I think it was beyond him. The flag hasn't gone up yet on Udo, who's closing on Kelleher's goal here. And now the flag is up, so it wouldn't have counted. Yeah, I don't like that. Do not like this delay with the flag going up. If you know you're going to blow when he actually... Oh, there's... You could have blown it two, three seconds earlier. You're waiting for Canate to come in and, you know, one of those unfortunate collisions and somebody gets seriously injured and then they'll think about changing the law. It is amazing, isn't it? Because yeah. it's going to happen. Horrible. You see, you know, Canate could go in and someone snaps an ankle and for, for nothing. If it happens in the, in the process of the game, that is part of it, unfortunately, but so needless. You're right. And... It's inevitable. Someone is going to 
Whatever, collide with a post or a teammate, yeah. or get knocked out, or have a leg broken or something awful. I, so, I certainly hope not, but I fear you may It's going to happen one day. Five times as many passes for Liverpool, but the goals are the same. In the final five of the first half. Liverpool roused into action by that Shrewsbury opener. And that ball over the top remains a threat for them. The League One guess and the crosses from their left side look like the likely avenue as Fabinho bursts forward here. Voltman, Craig Gordon almost running into one another. And it's mopped up by David Davis here. Several of those former Wolves players I was talking about. Yeah, just not quite enough juice on that pass from Fabinho. He's at full stretch. Not of a toe poke than anything trying to find Max Voltman. Jones looking for Gordon. Bradley. Gamely staying on his feet under pressure from Nurse. Bradley again. Decent cross again. Not a big forward line though. Not just Boltman in there who's small. We've seen that the one cutback effort produced the goal. There is no point in standing up balls towards the far post here, really, unless someone's in tons of space on a counter attack or something. Yeah, like absolutely counter attack, and you can swing that ball in nice and early. And sometimes, even if it's just a one red shirt against two or three blue and yellow, that movement that can deceive one or two defenders. A few uh, bodies in the box for that kind of be the better. Moment there, the referee was just going to play advantage. The free kick has been given to Liverpool for a cumbersome challenge from Luke Leahy on Fabinho. Well, they managed to swing this one in towards the goal. The left foot, as you said, is not, although the two centre backs are up this time. Chance of it going straight in the back of the net. The in swinger from Robertson, it is in towards Van Dijk. <laughs> Penalty. It certainly looked like it. I mean, what can you do if the defenders, he banks, Landell got away with one about 15 or 20 minutes ago? I'm not sure actually who was closest to Virgil Van Dijk. Not quite the sweet delivery, there wasn't too much pace on his pass, it was actually. He's done it again, hasn't he? He's done it again. Yeah. You, you picked it out earlier, Effort. Ridiculous. He's sticking that hand up. What's he doing? That's never getting overturned. Well, she wasn't conclusive to whether he'd actually handled the ball. It looked like Van Dijk got a lot onto it as well, but why on earth raise your hand like that? I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a shove. It didn't seem to be one from Van Dijk. It's almost a half-hearted attempt to say, look, I've been pushed, but I wasn't really, but are you going to, you know, let me get away with it? David Kuta decided no. It's a huge risk to take. In the absence of the usual penalty takers for Liverpool, the responsibility right before half-time falls to Fabinho to get Liverpool in front in a tie that's been trickier for them than they might have expected. Maroshi stands between him and 2-1, but 2-1 it is from behind to lead and right before the break too and it won't be an ecstatic Jurgen Klopp but it will be a relieved one effort yes yeah, somewhat partially satisfied if it remains like this at least until half time took it away well didn't he Fabinho that's his usual body shape isn't it to send the ball from right to left Marco Maroshi has not really been a busy goalkeeper at all here. I'm sure he came expecting that he'd probably be heavily involved, but he's had the ball in his net twice. And Steve Cottrell has seen a short-lived lead. Cancelled out and now turned right around. Robertson keeping it moving. Here's Dixon Bonner. Robertson still going too much on the pass, and across comes Ebanks Landell. 
We're going to have two added minutes at Anfield. You see those penalties given away every now and then, don't you? And it, it's almost just some sort of momentary involuntary action. Sometimes a defender just randomly sticks an arm up in the air, but he's done it twice. I think it's a habit that some defenders get into and they don't seem to be able to eradicate it from their game. I don't think it's it's in the manual for defending set pieces. <laughs> That's for sure. And you just need some luck that the ball doesn't flick off your hand. Of course, if the opposing player gets ahead on it, it doesn't crash back off you. As I said he got away with one in the first in the midway through the first half, but not this time. The thing is now you might get a, might have got away with it in the past too. Because Bradley puts in a strong challenge on Leahy. But now there's VAR, even if the referee does miss it, and in fairness to David Cooke, he saw it straight away. They're gonna have a look at it. So you even that's likely to away with it now he'll be feeling a bit daft I'm sure Anthony backs Landell but before the half-time recriminations there's a chance for Shrewsbury to try and get back on terms here with just a few seconds left of this first half in comes the nurse long throw Kelleher with the punch clear it's dangerous and it's very nearly 2-2 Kelleher back just in time as Vela tried to guide that into the corner It wasn't the cleanest of punches, I mean, it almost made the edge of the penalty box. And not enough height. Really uh, send his uh, defence and his teammates out another few yards. Good recovery, however. That was close. Here's Og better again. We've already seen the danger he can provide. Bradley with the defending, and Bradley with the touch. He was trying to kid the referee. Got a good response again from Shrewsbury here. So we have a look? That's it. Dangerous long throw from Nurse, isn't it? Yeah, right it? into the mix. Yeah, it's not a great header. Actually, Ryan Bowman, I think, wasn't it? With a little flick header, wasn't able to get enough purchase on it. Elliot Bennett, right at the end of this first half, trying to make it two each. Van Dyke wins his header. It's not cleared yet. Vela claiming handball. And the half time whistle goes. Well, lively. In the end, started off with Liverpool having all the ball and not doing a great deal with it. Sparked into action and leading thanks to Fabinho's penalty. The lead short-lived. Daniel Udo still with a special moment in front of the travelling support. Yasmin Amino, a player who loaned out for Southampton. To Southampton last term. Entirely sure what his Liverpool future was going to be, but he's been getting in the, in the thick of it again this term of late. As I mentioned, huge equaliser here to make it 3 3. Stoppage time against Leicester in the League Cup. Scored against Norwich and against Preston as well in those games. He's got one Premier League goal, and he's going to be starting some matches for sure. Yes, Diogo Jota has got to be treated with uh, kid gloves. No surprise that he's not involved today. Roberto Firmino needs some game time as well. So don't be surprised if he plays at least 15 minutes. And it's quiet at Anfield, even though there is a lead. Morton. And his uh, youthful colleague Bradley, those two have played a lot of football together in. Youth team, PL2, as they have it now, the old reserves, and the way for Youth League as well. It's never easy to blend these, uh, you know, to blend these youngsters into the side. You don't want to put too many in at once because, of course, the step up from that level to Premier League level, these FA Cup matches, is huge, really. You want enough quality and experience around them so they can really benefit from the more experienced and talented players in the squad. Landell's going to leave that if it was a, a sheepish half time for him. Sorry, lads. Rossi going forward for Bowman. Onside. 
Good cross from Bennett. Dangerous enough, but Kelleher firm and clear and quick. That was well worked. I mean, it's fine if, you, if they actually get in behind you, but you've got to be a little bit closer to the man who's actually retrieving the first ball. Good cross as well from Elliot Bennett. And that's the thing. Dangerous as they so obviously are and have been for such a long time under Klopp. Apart from in that spell in their title winning season where they did also keep a whole load of clean sheets. Anyone of any level will find opportunities against Liverpool generally because of the offensively minded way they play. Whether that's Premier League or League One. We've seen it here today. We've seen it here right then almost from kickoff. Not that difficult to get at them. If it was perhaps, uh, I don't know, Chelsea or maybe even a Manchester City, it'd feel like well, how many chances are a Shrewsbury going to get when well, Swindon found it. Different here. That's a dangerous cross. Robertson round the back. Oh, Dixon Bonner. Head in hands, but not ball in net. That had to be 3 1. Anywhere but there. Well, that goes down as a great save. It was in a, a superb chance, of course, for Dixon Bonner. Hit it cleanly, but straight out the keeper. Andy Robertson did well because that ball looked as if it was overhit. Fullback came round and measured his cross on the stretch. Will Elijah Dixon Bonner ever have a better chance to score a senior goal? At Anfield, wow. He'll be thinking, please give me one more. He must have been thinking as he pulled his leg back there. Oh my goodness, I'm about to score a goal. If you can think that that quickly. Or does everything go blank? You can think like that and you usually miss. <laughs> <laughs> the quicker the ball comes at you sometimes, you know, the easier it is. There's no, as you, you know, you point, pointed out at the end, there's no time to think about it is better, usually. Familiar pattern of Liverpool in possession. And then around 30, 40 yards from goal continues here. Bradley trying to shorten that distance. Udo. And that's typical calm Van Dyke defending. I'm sure Udo's turned up today thinking, yeah, I'm going to give myself a chance here against arguably, well, certainly one of the better. Central defenders in world football. And Amino having to chase his own pass here. Couldn't quite keep it in. One of those players for whom the Cups bring the opportunities. Takumi Mina Mino. Here's another look at it. Great cutback from Andy Robertson. A little bit of luck there. The ball actually goes through the legs of Matthew Pennington. Falls nicely for Dixon Bond, doesn't it? And yeah, straight out the keeper, who sticks out the big leg. It's a good save. We'll give it at him. That's difficult for him to actually send it to the left of the keeper. I can't fault the youngster here. There's head in the hand, says, as you were mentioning, Ben. Will I get another chance? I mean, he's put it on target. He's essentially put it past the keeper's arms. That's what you yeah. normally think of as making the saves, don't you? I mean, he. He hits that same shot a hundred times. It's probably in the back of the net, 97 of them, in off the keeper's leg or past it. So we're trying to give Van Dijk a problem again. Oh, that's a little short on the back pass. Good Just look. enough on it for Keller and Luke Lee. He had made the break from midfield. Yeah, it's not good defending from Van Dijk. Just assumed that the only person really close enough to cause him any trouble was Daniel Ludo. Not the case. Yeah, it's a casual back pass and Keller. What's he for? Liverpool captain on the day is alert enough. Starting position was good to clear the danger. A smart that from Luke Lee. He, you have the gamble, don't you? He might just roll this back, and it's exactly what happened. Bella back to Bennett. He was able to get his cross in. Van Dijk is able to head it for a throw rather than a corner. I wonder with these whether 
to your Daniel Udo and Ryan Bowman thinking, yeah, I want to play up against Van Dijk and Co. Or do you think, I hope they play the youngsters because I'll have them in my pocket and I might be the hero. It must be a bit double-edged like that, wanting to test yourself but wanting to win. And comes that long throw again from Nurse. We've already seen it be a threat. Leahy with the header. Bradley with the header clear. Vela. It's a bit of both. You're absolutely right. You know, to progress. To have some opportunities to score. The victory is the most important thing. But if they weren't playing, for example, some of you will be saying, well, it would have been even sweeter if the best players that they have available had turned out. The record books will never say that. Who played for the opposition? Well, it will be down, of course. You know, the teams will be available, but it's a scoreline that people will remember in years to come more than anything. Well, Udo had a few minutes to dream. Maybe he might have those minutes again. They've had four or five moments. They've scored from one of them. Dixon Bonnet could have opened up a a gap. Robertson with the cross, Elliot Bennett blocking it out. I wonder thing for the Vistas so far today, they've not been overstretched defensively, have they? the tempo of Liverpool's playing the final third has not been super quick, so there's not been a lot of scramble defence. So physically they've not been worn out, mentally they won't be feeling drained at the moment. So when they're coming forward, there's freshness with the way they are able to put together one or two set pieces in particular. And they can have full-blooded attempts, can't they, at anything that goes into the Liverpool box. No, you're right, they're not being cut open time and time again. They've had a lot of the ball, of course, but it's been at this sort of range. Just shuffle across, fill in the holes. Very little desperate defending. It's not like the shots are being... Reined in on Maroshi's goal and the defenders are putting in heroic blocks left, right and centre. They've largely kept them at arm's length. Yes, what sets Manchester City apart from all the other you know, clubs and teams in, most in, in world football right now is that they uh, just drain you from minute one, don't yeah, they? They exhaust you the ball and they keep on opening you up and opening you up and at some point you, know, you will crack, you can defend well for about 10 or 12 minutes and all of a sudden they hit two or three and then the game is over and they just keep on coming. Nobody's doing it quite that way at the moment. Liverpool did a couple of years ago, but not at that level right now. Where are you out, where are you down? Robertson. Jones. Robertson again. Well, they came back for a 2-2. Two, two. two years ago, Shrewsbury. To earn themselves a replay here. One of several early round hiccups Jurgen Klopp has endured rather than enjoyed. He's often made major rotation the policy, and that is absolutely his prerogative but it quite often backfires. He's ended up, funnily enough, having to have an, in, an enormous amount of replays against clubs big and small in the early rounds. And you think, well, you've ended up having a full cup run anyway, yeah. and you lose in round five, having had a replay in round three and round four, which has happened to him before, an extra time and that sort of thing. Shrewsbury, we're going to make it 2-2 two -two with better here. Bradley has Gordon for help. That help has made the difference. And Bradley got to him a little bit more quickly this time. He's had no opportunity just to have a little look around the fullback and then cross the ball early. Bradley 
90 minutes against Norwich in the League Cup, Connor Bradley. Another half an hour against Preston. And, uh, came off the bench for a cameo. Away to Milan. How about that for a Champions League bout? So that was Liverpool getting that group of deaths, supposedly, negotiated at the earliest possible venture with 12 points out of 12. Yeah, turned out not to be so, didn't it? Minamino, neat feet, Curtis Jones. Been on his right, he'd have gone for the shot, he does after the touch. And when he couldn't shoot early enough, he should have just shifted the ball, kept it moving towards the left, maintaining momentum. The picture changes, doesn't it, every second. There was a chance for the shot, but only when it was on his left. That two seconds later, it's not the right option. And the pass was. Easily said from here is Robertson to Canate, confident first touch, he's away from Leahy, shoot they say, well maybe he should have done if the passing's like that, dreadful ball for Kay Gordon, nosebleed territory for Ibrahim and Canate there. Good ball from Ogbetta, here's Leahy. Something that uh, Joel Matip does particularly well, he gets forward and he doesn't usually panic actually, he's going to be Cameroon, he usually finds the right pass and then retreats. It's uh, super laid back in the best possible way, Matty. He's very composed at that. Looks like Van Dijk alongside him. But that was almost a, what do I do with this? For Ibrahim and Canate. Here's Bradley. Gordon. Bradley again. Solidly defended. Yeah, Twice over by Leahy. Easy defending in the end. Better in field. That high line was there. Yeah, Bowman the just wanted a little anything. Yeah, just vaguely the ball. into space. Yeah, it doesn't have to be right on his toes. Just in a decent enough area. The weight of the pass is so important, even if it's sending towards a corner flag. Just keep Liverpool thinking this is a dangerous ploy. I mean, they're not going to change it, are they? That's, that's for sure. Jones with space to gallop into. Ground being made, and the ball is on for Gordon. He's played it. Shouts more from fans than players on Tyler Morton there. Surprised perhaps because he's young, he didn't make more of it. But... Puff of the cheeks only rather than an appeal to David Coop. Fabinho. Hour played. Well, the changes may be incoming from the home bench. Senior ones at that. Well, that one shortly. Here's Tyler Morton again. Liverpool not in the clear yet. Yeah, the game is still finally poised, isn't it? Just. And a two momentary lapse in concentration from Liverpool. You only find yourselves pegged back, but indeed behind. That's what happened with the opening goal of the game. It's very neatly done that by Josh Vella. Not so the pass that. With Maroshi. <laughs> Nicely done by Gordon. Bradley thought he might have continued that run for the give and go. Davis, Ooh. very <laughs> lucky with that. Very lucky. Dixon Bonner nearly got rewarded for helping his teammates to hunt the ball down. And that's something that they've not really done, actually. They've not really pressed their Shrewsbury 
back with those uh, ball steals. In fact, they've been wise enough to Vistas not to try and even play that total less overplay. They just you know, struck the ball forward 30 or 40 yards when it's required. Jones into Fabinho. Half an hour to go. Gordon here seeing plenty of the ball. I think they'll have really enjoyed their day, perhaps more than Voltman and Dixon Bonner. Some less of it, and here is the latter. Maybe him we're hearing that will make way shortly, but confirmation in a second there as Minamino gets it back from Andy Robertson and the cross on the cover as Leahy is having bearing on this second half. And here's a guy who needs some game time. And could do with a goal. Elisha Dixon Bonner so nearly got one effort, and, and he'll be thinking of that as he comes off. Well, well done him, and he'll have enjoyed a rare first team appearance. But he doesn't depart as a goal scorer. Yeah, the goal scorer comes on. Yeah, not a bad appearance at all. He said he'd be thinking about that missed opportunity all night. Irrespective of the result tonight, I feel as if that's one that got away from him, but he'd be hoping. Quite rightly so, and believing that get another chance maybe in the next round. Firmino on to help Liverpool try and get there. It's been a real stop-start season for him. It's not been hugely talked about, I don't think, but quietly Diogo Jota has become first choice above him more often than not. He's, he's had some Covid and injury issues too, the Brazilian, but he's started effort four Premier League games and come on in seven more. That is, you know, that's fringe stuff, isn't it, really? Well, you know what, Ben, I actually think that we should get away from this term of being, a, you know, the backup striker, especially at the super clubs. Manchester City don't have a, a first-choice front three, let's be honest. Really. Tyler Morton with a deflection, it'll be a corner. No, you're absolutely right, but it, there was a time when it was Salah Mane for oh, Mino every yeah. single week, and, and, and he is the one who misses out more often than not now. It is at the moment, yeah, this... Almost didn't quite trouble a goalkeeper. Robertson. The corner. One of his better ones, actually. And At the moment, you need four or five attacking players of equal ability, really, to, uh, really to be able to maintain your push for any honours. Jurgen Klopp does like to work with a, a smaller squad, and that's the reason why he has done, you know, used a lot of rotation and brought in youngsters in these cup matches, and uh, too often it's not worked out. Well, at the moment they're in the round four draw. Didn't get beyond it last year, knocked out by Manchester United. They've been knocked out by West Ham and West Bromwich Albion in his time in charge as well in early rounds. Firmino will go central in that Liverpool uh, forward line now. What he will certainly bring is great, uh, great composure and authority on the football. Not only the ability to see the pass, but play it at the right time as well before those gaps close. He is a, a bounteously gifted footballer. And, uh, a few eyebrows were raised when he was brought in by Brendan Rodgers for just under 30 million quid. Turned out to be a bargain, really. I think the Liverpool bought the three of them. Salah, Mane and Firmino for under 100 million. Decent business. And then some. Not 
too much for Quiven Kelleher to do here, but beaten by a fraction of the offside header. And Udo Opener, and it's been given away cheaply here. Now Shrewsbury have hope until Van Dijk boots it clear, Bowman behind him. But that was really sloppy. And it's easy effort, isn't it, to get into a bit of a malaise. It's only 2-1, but you've got all the ball. Yeah. But that's all it takes. Canate there with a sloppy bit of play, or someone like it. And right in the balance again. Maybe that will wake Liverpool up once more. Morton finding Jones. Robertson is there. Not going to get a penalty for that, I'm sure. No, Andy Robertson wasn't wide enough, and Curtis Jones, I think, has... I don't recall actually him playing one. Truly really accurate pass with enough weight on it. He's quite sloppy with his sometimes selection and certainly delivery. It's not like he's not had the practice because he's had the ball at his feet a lot, Curtis Jones. He's got it again here into Minamino. I'm not sure Jurgen Klopp has actually identified where Curtis Jones' best position on the football field actually be what his true qualities are. Until that, he finds it very difficult to get a place in his starting lineup. With all the big guns available and fit. That's a really interesting point you make because he probably plays equally, perhaps slightly more in the midfield three than in the front three. But you're right; it really does. It, it's sort of gap-filling, utility-ish, forward-thinking player. You really want to be that, do you? No, at some point you have to you know, really sort of improve one or two of your outstanding traits if, if you have any and, and decide yourself if they can't fight it, you know, this is going to be my speciality. I'm a, a ball winner, I'm a, a creator, a good assist player or a goal scorer. Just the weight of a Curtis Jones to sort of break out. Taken on a deeper role since Firmino came on for Dixon Bonner. And he's just hanging around the edge of that D at the moment, Curtis Jones. And Firmino typically dropping deep. Often a very fluid thing. Shrewsbury want to try and get away on the break. And Canate showing that athleticism. That is definitely a, a positive attribute he has, even if he's sometimes cumbersome with his defending. He's a super athlete. Minamino's flick. He's unlucky. He's had his, uh, his notes out from early on in this game, Cottrell, but here I think he's just officialising a change he's about to make. 20 minutes to go, they are only one goal down. Ebanks <laughs> Landell will be as hopeful as anyone out there in a Shrewsbury shirt that they find the equaliser. Good ball. Which it was from him for the goal earlier. Bennett's cross has found its way through to Udo. This isn't done yet. Nowhere near. Oh, better. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Once again, nice and early. The striking teammate should be aware that that's what he likes to do. Sacrificing yourself sometimes as a striker, just making that run across the near post. Even if you miss it, the goalkeeper can fluff his lines. And once again, there'll be a chance for a teammate coming in behind you. See the full backs have had more of the ball than anyone, and it's the centre backs who are worried here as Ryan Bowman tries to slide it through for Udo, and he's got there ahead of Fabinho. That's a good lay back, Glory beckoned, but only momentarily. And Josh Vella has sliced it and got underneath it. You know, it's a long way out, took him a bit of time as well to come onto the football. You know, the gap was there, waiting, waiting. There he comes, it's not a good strike in the end. Tyler Morton's a lucky boy, he tried a pretty reckless uh, flick for a teammate. 
and about the halfway line. Unfortunately, his teammates didn't get punished. Curtis Jones feeling the wrath of Jurgen Klopp on behalf of everybody, I would imagine. one or two of the home fans more than a few not happy at the moment they want more tempo to the game don't they a few more chances created they expected to game the game to be pretty much over by now is it to be another struggle in this competition against a lesser light you look back at the record since Klopp took over and bear in mind he took over in September 2015 they've got past January twice in this competition that is for a club of Liverpool stature, shocking. And by the way, one of those is because it was a replay in early February, which they lost to West Ham. And the other, two years ago, lost the last 16 tie against Chelsea. Yeah, makes it an even poorer record, doesn't it? And that is amazing. Yeah, I was going to say about 15 minutes or so ago, Jurgen Klopp likes to work with a smaller squad. As a result of that, he's been he's used or decided to use lots of uh, younger players in this competition in the early rounds. Um, but, you know, that's... You know, the expectations to be competitive in every single competition at Liverpool are extremely high. Lovely flick round the corner from Udo to find out better. And his pass too much on it. You're seeing Vela go and join in. And a few more roars from the Shrewsbury fans there and frustrated groans from the Liverpool fans who know, as Ethel was just saying, this isn't done yet. In theory, it ought to be. In inverted commas. And just turn up and win against anybody. In terms of chances created by the home side, it's been a long way from being a dominant display so far. I've not mentioned Marco Maroshi's name too often. Well, I think Keller has had basically as much to do as Maroshi has, and that would not have been the expectation pre-match. Knocking it around and sucking time out of the game. You'd understand it more if Liverpool were three goals to the good, but they're one. You can rest in possession, safe in the knowledge that their round four place is safe, but it's not safe here. Not yet, anyway. Bradley to Gordon. Yeah, it's not able to close this game out in 90 minutes, and it becomes. Actually, a uh, difficult extra 30 minutes to play. One or two players who may be coming back for injury, not quite at the level, of course, they would expect to be at. Potential for picking up one or two more injuries, of course, as well. Exactly. We, we think he wants to give Firmino 25 minutes, if that was the plan. But then suddenly Firmino's playing an hour instead, or, or, or Van Dijk's, or Curtis Jones's. Let's just see. It's a raker. From Van Dyke and Kate Gordon's going to keep it in. Into the final 15 is Bradley. Fabinho. Nurse clears it. Morton. Was he noticed by Udo? He was. I think he was. He never quite got there, Daniel Udo, and it was the only way he was going to be able to win the ball. It's often the, the knife edge call, isn't it? If you give youngsters the go, and if it's not quite working, you want you think, well, maybe we'll bring on the seniors from the bench. But the, the good it would do for the young players to be experienced in seeing out a game like this or winning a match, and that is, uh, you can't buy that. It's the call, Klopp and his like have to make that's why they earn the big bucks here's Curtis Jones bit 
exactly this has been the turn of the game, hasn't it, Evan? Exactly what we're just seeing there. Liverpool about 40 yards out, keeping the ball, but doing a great deal with it. Josh Fellas will be lucky to escape without a yellow card. He's hit a few today. Notably early on in the match. Not a terrible foul. He's trying to block off Takumi Minamino. He's not really had any kind of impact, has he, on the football game so far? Nope. He's loitering at the back of the D for any scraps that could come out here. Jones leaves it, Robertson curls it. Finds its way through to Gordon. It's delicate that from Fabinho. Pulled back for Canate. And the back heel. Knew that was coming. Roberto Firmino, who will always pull out a party trick if he gets the chance. And it presented itself for him there. And Liverpool, belatedly, you would say, are safely heading for round four. Oh, cheeky from the Brazilian. If there's anybody you would want in that situation with a back to goal with a few plays behind him, thought about nothing else, but that did a clever back here. That's a nice ball from Fabinho. Tana Modern as well, doesn't keep that in play. Ball just taken away from maybe Himarima Comanate by Josh Vela. Yeah, that's a great ball from Fabinho. Morton as well. Young legs gets him there. And there's Fabinho with a nice back heel to make it three. Resilience inside the six-yard box. He always seems to know where he and everyone else is. And those uh, flashy pearly whites on show. Yeah, young Conor Bradley, I did him a disservice. He was the one who got forward and crossed the ball, of course. Doesn't seem satisfied, does he? Can no, he well, still is, slightly uh, disgruntled look on yeah. the King's face. I can finally sit a little bit more easily, perhaps. Now, Minamino, well, he's off and running there, and Ebanks Landell will be cautioned for rudely interrupting his progress. For all the uh, goals he scored, Roberto Firmino, well, it's only his second in the FA Cup. The last was a loss here against West Brom four years ago. But uh, one of the other goal scorers is departing here, and... Uh, a successful second start for Cade Gordon and a very tidily taken equalising goal for him, Effen. Yeah, lovely first half finish. Comes inside Josh Vella and a nice side foot. Didn't slash out the ball, picks his spot. Got Liverpool back on level terms. And it's a first team debut for the German, Mel Frauendorf, who has scored plenty of goals at youth team level. And, uh, well, he's got. 10 minutes plus a bit here to really savour. Just to confirm that the Ebanks Landell caution there. We'll never know what would have happened if he hadn't stuck his arm up because it's not as if Liverpool have been laying siege to that Shrewsbury goal. But it does look like the seven time winners are heading for the next round. The draw comes later this afternoon. Bloxham and Jane coming soon for Shrewsbury. More on them shortly. It's interesting until Fraundorf came on there, though, just to kind of hammer home the fact that this wasn't going as Jurgen Klopp would have wanted, as he wouldn't have wanted to use as many seniors as he had today. But you think, Evan, that the players he's brought off his bench before Fraundorf there were Minamino and Firmino, the, yeah. the two, along with Joel Matic, the two most only senior players on his bench. He's, he's brought on, if you like, regulars because it wasn't as straightforward as he would have liked. Yes, the game had not been closed out, and you have to make sure that you progress. And, uh, of course, those players are needed some game time anyway, so giving them a little bit longer than he'd anticipated. It's uh, not such a bad thing, especially as Firmino has now got himself on the score sheet. Treble change, Aaron Pierre, Saikou Jane. 
And Tom blocks them there. Youth for experience up top, Ryan Bowman. Well, he's had half a sniff and he buried his header. But it was offside and Bloxham, 18 years young, on in his place. I remember his goal only forever and into Anfield and making it 1 0. Yes, Udo replaced by Seku Jani. And Aaron Pierre coming on for a better. Aaron Pierre. Actually played in, in both games of the, the tie between these two. He's one of their longer serving players. Scored FA Cup goals in the past. Started the 2 2. This one's not going to be 2 2 now, thanks to that Firmino back heel. And uh, unlikely as it may sound, Bloxham's got seven minutes to keep the record going. He scored the opener at Carlisle, the 18 year old, in round two. Scored against Stratford as well in round one. You can bet they'll shoot now from any given opportunity if they can get the ball. Minamino, heavy touch. Firmino, and again Firmino. Good block from Pierre. Straight into the action with an important one. Probably going on target from the Brazilian. More shouts for handball there. Very scrappy. Everyone in each other's way from both sides as Minamino drills it against Leahy. A nice pass to Curtis Jones would have been the option, wouldn't it? Just on the edge of the box. Two of his teammates refused. Jones beaten to it by Pennington and he sliced it out. Six minutes plus stoppage time. Liverpool are nearly there. Good performance from Connor Bradley, with an assist to add to. Pretty solid game, I think. Strength again there from Konate. Firmino, effortless, but Fabinho inaccurate, and then Pennington almost bypassing his goalkeeper. Yeah, fourth goal would be harsh on Shrewsbury. They played well enough uh, this game. Uh, a little bit of miscommunication there. Round off. And Firmino nearly in Pierre just there. Firmino is very good at just uh, sensing where there might be a little bit of a slip from opposing defenders. He doesn't hunt the ball down with the same kind of speed that Sadio Mane does, for example. Sometimes Diogo Jota, but a little bit more cunning the way he. Steals the ball from opposing players. Jones here. It's so very narrow for Liverpool. Bradley is in the space and Van Dijk has found him. Didn't make his mind of what he wanted to do with that football. Oh, though. Keller there. Well, indecision from both centre back and goalkeeper. Robertson roared on here. Tyler Morton, Fabinho. He's pushed and frowned off wide. Didn't want to shoot, did he, Fabinho? Oh, 
It's nicely done by him as Bradley into Fabi uh, Firmino, excuse me. Uh, just for a moment, thought a back heel was on again there for the Brazilian. The youth team are nearly on the end of it, and Fraundorf. 17 in his first team debut. He hasn't even played in the PL2. Straight out of the youth team. Well, Elliot Bennett making way here with uh, just a couple of minutes to go. And it's Josh Daniels who is replacing him. Regular off their bench, not many starts for the young Irishman. And Steve Cotter will be not so far from here, away at Crew. Next, and they're back on League One duty, trying to get themselves away from the bottom. Six points above the bottom four, will go down from League One. But in league terms, at least, they're on good form. They've given a bad account of themselves here. It doesn't look like they're going to, barring miracles, come away with anything. Way by Banks Landell. Klopp pleased with how Tyler Morton won that back quickly. And Fabinho, despite being on his way down, still got the pass off. And Robertson was clipped, and oh, that's a pretty quick card, isn't it, for Daniels? Can't be more than 30 seconds on the field. Cautioned for the trip. Yeah, not to the pace of the game. It was a long way off that. And Robertson felt that one was... Oh, yeah, nasty one. Oh, I know... Right on the Achilles stroke ankle. A twist as well for the Scotsman to boot. And it's moments like that. Where it's heart in mouth for, for coaches. As you think. I'm not sure whether you wanted to give them the game anyway. Andy Robertson hasn't had a lot lately, but because of that three match suspension, but having previously been such a regular, pretty much never missed a match. Just a little bit of pain for him there. Yeah. He's had enough game time over the last five years, Andy Robertson. That, you know, he could have missed another three, four matches and still come. You know, in fact, he would have felt much better for it. Still giving him a bit of jip. Yeah, surely, if you're Jurgen Klopp, you can make five changes in these games. Why even risk anything? As Curtis Jones curls it. Yeah, he should oh, be taking him off. Now. Bradley round the back. Yeah, why wouldn't you? There's no reason not to. It's stoppage time with a two goal lead. Yeah. How much can go wrong? Robertson should be walking to the sideline and being told your game is over today. Thanks very much. Decent game. As that stop his time approaches, it's a corner which Jones has taken short to Firmino and back again and back again. Back here, Lightus. Three added minutes and we're into the first of them. He's not wasteful with it, however, for me, you know, he actually does it when it's the best course of action. It's not, um, it's not showboating, it's not showing off. He's got the skill level and he uses it, as I said, in, in a smart way. Change number five coming for Shrewsbury, and it will, in fact, happen. For the corner, Charlie Caton on his way on. A couple of nearly moments for Luke Lee. He, he was the one who's just offside with that cross, and he was the one who very nearly stole in for Kelleher, but it's going to be a nearly story, it looks, for Shrewsbury today. For a, a little while, they dared to dream. Costa Simicus is indeed going to replace Andy Robertson. And we're also going to see James Norris. Simicus has been getting a few games of late with that Robinson, uh, Robertson, excuse me, suspension. I'm playing well. Yeah, that was a clear thing. Andy Robertson did not need to be playing any more seconds. going to be 
Tyler Morton to make way for his regular teammate at youth level. James Norris, another for whom this is a red letter day. 18 year old taking his place, central midfield. Busy player who can play in a number of positions. Seen him play at full back as the uh, ball comes into Fabinho, who's roof number four for Liverpool. Two bites and two goals in a game for Fabinho. That doesn't happen. He really thumped that one past the goalkeeper, Marco Marashi. Missed the header, really shouldn't have done. Just the slices of flicks would have made it. A headed goal, a rare one for him. Oh, what about that for a finish? Just about recovered his balance. And a super strike. Harsh on Shrewsby that it sent it up at being 4 1. They've given their all today. That was a peach of a set piece, wasn't it, from Costa Simicats? First touch of the football. Fabinho just puts. A little bit of gloss on Liverpool's performance. Well, he won't have time to complete the hat-trick, Fabinho. And I agree with you, Effin. That uh, that's a scoreline and people will think that Liverpool have had it easy today. They've had a lot of the ball, 